Hi, my name is Josh. I'm a father of four children. I love being a dad. Part of being a good parent is correcting your child when they do something wrong. With Smarter Parenting's help, I learned to do that in a positive way that keeps me calm. The skill of correcting behaviors does that for me. I love this skill. It helps me know what to say, what to do, how to respond when they misbehave. With a little practice, you'll be amazing. The steps to correcting behaviors are Number one, get the child's attention to stop the problem behavior. Number two, express empathy. Use statements such as, I can see you're upset, or I realize this is difficult for you. Number three, describe the bad behavior. Be sure to be descriptive and avoid judgment. Avoid asking questions because it may bait an argument. Number four, deliver a consequence. The consequence should be doable and is meant to teach, not punish your child. There is specific language you should use as well. See the effective consequences skill on the Smarter Parenting website. Number five, describe what you want your child to do instead. Use words your child will understand. Number six, give a reason why this good behavior is important to your child. And number seven, practice the good behavior and then reduce the consequence. If they practice the good behavior and get it right, be sure to remember to decrease the consequence. As a reminder, this skill works best if you remain calm and don't forget to follow through. Let's see a few examples from real families using this skill. Pay attention to how they use each of the steps. Hey! Aubrey? Hey, I know how frustrating it is when Mim interrupts your game, but you just pushed her over. And because you pushed her over, you've earned a consequence. You can't have the tablet for the rest of the month. I'm taking it away. If you noticed, the father was angry, even though he got the child's attention. He made it to step four, but he gave a consequence that was unrealistic. There's no way he could follow through with that. Describing behaviors makes him stop and think, which keeps him calm. Let's watch again. Aubrey, I know you don't like it when Mim interrupts your game, but I saw you push her over. And because you pushed her over, you've earned a consequence. You've lost your privilege to play with this the rest of the night. And I'm going to let Mim play with it, okay? Okay. What I need you to do next time that Mim interrupts you is to come find me. And if you come find me and tell me that Mim's interrupting you, I'll make sure that you get time alone to play this without her interrupting, okay? And I know you really want to play this tonight, right? Right. Well, if you'll practice this with me, I'll let you play for 15 minutes after dinner, okay? Okay. Great. Will you practice with me? Yes. Great. Okay. So I'm going to be playing my game, and I want you to interrupt me, okay? Aubrey, you have done a great job practicing with me. And because you did such a good job, you've earned those 15 minutes to play after dinner. Thanks, Dad. The father did better giving an appropriate consequence. Notice that he described what he wanted his daughter to do and then gave a reason that was meaningful to her, which was that she wanted to play without interruptions. Both of them then practiced what needed to be done and the father reduced the consequences. Sometimes consequences can be hard to come up with. It's better to think of a few beforehand, just so you're prepared. Let's watch another family use this skill with a teenager. Isaac, you need to turn off your video game and go help Dad right now, please. Okay. No, Isaac, right now you need to turn it off and go help Dad. Wait, can I just finish my game? Isaac. Can I just finish my game? I need to get to a place where I can save it. Listen, I know that you want to finish your game and you're frustrated right now, but you're being ridiculous. You're you being ridiculous! To... Fine. If you don't get off the game right now, we're selling your games. Ugh. This was a little more complex. You'll notice the mother was using the skill to correct his angry reaction. She was good at getting his attention and expressing empathy, but she didn't describe the bad behavior well. And even though she gave a consequence, it wasn't realistic. Let's watch again. Isaac, I know you're frustrated because you wanted to finish playing your game. Right now, you're arguing with me about turning it off. But you need to turn it but off. But why can't right? I just get to a point where I can save it? 
because you didn't turn it off when I asked, you will not be allowed to play games the rest of the day. Are you happy now? Isaac, I know you wanted to keep playing. What you should have done when I asked you to turn it off was say, okay, and turn it off right away. When you do it that way, you get to keep your game time. If you'll practice with me what you should have done, you can earn 30 minutes of your playing time back, but we're gonna have to practice three times. Get it, this is so dumb. So the offer's still there. If you'll practice three times with me, you can earn 30 minutes of your playing time back. Three times and I can play again? Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Isaac, you did a great job doing what I asked when we practiced. So you've earned your 30 minutes of playing time back. All right, thanks, Mom. Nice job. This time, the mother did really well. She remained calm and was able to describe specifically what he had done. The son stayed angry and walked away, but later when he had calmed down, he was more open to role-playing and practicing the good behavior, which reduced his consequence. Now it's your turn. You might not get it right on the first try, but that's okay. Keep at it. It will come. It works. I use the skill with my 13-year-old, who loves to play video games on Saturday mornings, but we have a deal. He can play after he makes his bed and cleans his room. He knows that if I check on his room and it's still a mess, he loses his controllers for the rest of the day. It's a doable consequence, he understands it, and it works for both of us. We have additional videos and printable materials to help you. Let us know how this skill goes. Share your experiences with us. We would love to hear from you.